Welcome everybody, thanks for joining us. Uh, yesterday we did uh, some flower extractions in the uh, Nug Smasher IQ, doing some beta testings. The first batch is being released next, uh, early next week. So if you've got one, um, it's coming early next week. But anyhow, we got some uh, five grams of rosin here. We let it butter up overnight. That's a key to isolation. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap it in a 15 micron uh, uh, screen. And we're gonna put that 15 micron screen in a 37 micron uh, bag. So stay tuned, uh, watch how we isolate. And then we're gonna try out the isolation mode the on the uh, ramp mode uh, on the Nug Smasher IQ. So um, stay tuned and, and uh, see how that works. So first step, we're gonna take a, uh, a uh, six inch 15 micron screen, which I can't get open. Now, isolation has always been a bitch because you have to be there maintaining the exact um, pressure on the material. So I'm pretty excited about doing it in the IQ because it's going to do all that for us. So what you're what you're trying to do is you're trying to get a third of this thing. Uh, you want to you want the screen to be two thirds the size of the material. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of just sticking it over the material and I'm measuring. Looks like I need this much cut off and about that much cut off. So I'm just going to trim the edge off here. I don't want too much screen. I want it to fold over evenly with not a crease line in it. So this is in thirds for instance. About like that, okay. And then if it's in thirds again, it's about like that, right? So that's about the size, okay. So then what I'll do, once I get it to the size, is I'll bring this over and I'll measure it almost exact, and I'll crease it. Just take my nail and run it across there and it makes a nice crease in it, in the uh, actual uh, screen. And I'll do that again, right on the other side of the fold. <clears throat> That'll help us hold its shape. If you think it's too a little too big, you can trim it. Take your time with this part. You don't want the uh, the uh, isolate to get in in your bag. You want it to be nice and tidy. Okay, I'm liking that. It gives me a little tiny bit of room. Fit right inside my bag here, like so. I'm gonna give this just a tiny trim here. Okay, now that I got that going, I'm gonna go ahead and make it a third like this. And then like this. Looks like it's a little big the other way too. I'm gonna go ahead and trim that off this side. You can see the hangover here. Now we got a good screen sized, and basically all we're gonna do is stick this guy right in the middle of that screen, wrap it up, right? You don't want the crease in the center of it, you want it on the edges like we have it. And then 
and then we're gonna actually come back around this way. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick it in this this three and a half micron bag. So yesterday, when the rosin was fresh, I, I uh, kind of shaped it into the size I wanted. And then I let it let it out overnight in the air and it um, it buttered up for us. And then that's, that's our isolation packet. So now what I'm gonna do with this guy is I have two pieces of uh, parchment paper here. In the center of them, I'm going to put this all the way back at the fold. I'm going to take this like this, and then what I'm going to do is go over the Nug Smasher IQ here. I have another piece of parchment paper to put it between in the plates. I'm going to come over and um, I want to use ramp mode to do this, right? So I'm going to come over to the master extractor screen. I'm going to put in the actual size, which happens to be 1.8 by 1.5. I just put it in. And then uh, it's only one of them. So that's my square cubic inch that I'm, that I'm uh, putting the pressure on. Then I'm going to come over to the ramp mode here. And I'm going to, I'm going to just select the pre-select settings and we're going to start there and give that a try. So at this point, I just put the paper in. I stick the, the uh, puck in here and I want it right in about the center of the plates and I hit start, proceed. Put that on there. And what happens is, um, this is this is maintaining the 100 material PSI but it's ramping it. Um, up to 120 material PSI and it's starting at 100 degrees and it's going all the way up to 155 degrees over the course of 25 minutes. So what we're excited about is the fact that the IQ can do all the work to keep the actual pressure on the, uh, the isolate. So we'll see how it works. Stay tuned. Isolate. And what we want to do is, what we're trying to do is just separate it from, from all the oil. 
the fats and the lipids and just get the THCA is what we're trying to that is our plan Sometimes it'll change the inner, sometimes it won't. We just gotta look at it and see how it looks. Yeah, we're definitely gonna change this. See how the dryer, the more we unwrap it, the drier it is. And that's what you, you want to start to see is you want to see formulate it formulating a nice brick. Just like that. Now that's not real refined, but that's for the most part isolate there. Um, there's a lot of a lot of oil left in it, and we're gonna get that out right now. And how we'll do that is we'll just repeat the exact process that we just went through. So we'll leave this guy, set it right there for a sec. And then we're gonna take another uh, sheet Do the same exact thing with this guy right here. Joining us, we're making solventless THCA isolate, uh, making it in the Nug Smasher IQ, which has been uh, really, really uh, easy so far. We're just sent it through one uh, general isolate cycle, and we're just about ready to head into the, we're gonna do it, uh, repeat it, do it one more time so we're wrapping this in another 15 micron sheet we're using the uh, the nug smasher sheets the six by six uh, squares uh, six by six squares 15 micron this is the sheets that we're using and then uh, once we stick the, uh, the isolate brick now, just a little oily in the center of this. We'll run another cycle on the, uh, on the IQ, which was really badass because it just maintained the exact uh, surface area pressure for us the whole time. And, and then it ramped the uh, time over the uh, Time and temperature over the, the duration. So what we set it for was 25 minutes. It was just the general preset settings and the ramp. We're gonna go back to it and do it again. Um, but this this preset setting, so it started uh, start pressure at 100, end at uh, 120, start uh, temperature at 100, end at uh, 155, or the duration of 25 minutes. It's just the presets that's in there, but. You guys can configure this exactly how you want it if you have a different recipe or something that you uh, particularly like. So, but we're just seeing how our regular, our presets worked. It was the first time we're using the ramp mode on for isolate. So, um, on the IQ. So really, really uh, pumped on how it worked. It works amazing. Um, the machine's really uh, outperforming my expectations thus far. So, really nice stuff. So now that we have the uh, isolate brick again, and what I've noticed about this machine versus uh, others when you have to keep the, uh, the pressure on is it's giving me a really nice brick to work with here. It's solid, it's, it's a wafer, and that's really what THCA should be. So we're gonna take the, uh, the oil away, 
and we're going to put it in a fresh a fresh piece of parchment i use a double piece as you know pull my 37 micron bag that i put the uh, screen wrapped wafer in in here make sure that it stays wrapped nice put it all the way towards the back of the crease um, basically I, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit start now and once this cools down okay let's wait till this cools down so because uh, we just did it it heated up to 155 the fans on it's cooling down rather quick but once it cools down to that it'll get going so I'll leave it on uh, once the plates uh, start to go up, I'll know it's ready to roll. So then I'll put the uh, wafer back in. So stay tuned. All right, we got our um, plates cooled back down to 100 degrees. We're going to put the puck back in for round two of just um, uh, cleaning the, uh, the THCA, refining it, further refining it. Where we put it right, right about the center of the plates. Um, we just hit the ramp mode. We're just going to do the isolate run again, the exact same thing. and or temperature to get it cleaner than that. See it's a nice wafer especially how hot it is so um, so if we do you know obviously if we want to get it uh, a little bit more purified we can go up and temp a little bit more. I, I don't like to go up over 170 or so when I'm isolating. I'm gonna let it sit here and So guys, I've decided we want to uh, give it another run, put it back in. We want to go uh, right around 140 degrees, and we're going to go from 100 to 200 material PSI. So we're going to raise the PSI um, over the course of 15 minutes and see if it gives us a little cleaner uh, result. Same thing, we're going to put in a 37 micron bag, wrap it in a screen. Same drill. in this thing right in the center. Be real gentle with it, with it at this point.
get another 37 micron bag. in my parchment. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over here and go back to my ramp mode. I'm gonna go the start pressure at uh, 120 is cool. I'm gonna go 200 and I'm gonna go to start temperature 135 and the end 140 and I'm going to do it for 15 minutes Oops. all right <clears throat> now I'm going to go and stick the parchment in this wants to be in right about in the center of the plates here Start and proceed. Oh, it's got to get uh, within. Starts when it's in five within five degrees. So that's going to ramp over uh, the course of 15 minutes, um, 135 degrees up to 145 uh, or 140 degrees. It's going to go from 120 material psi all the way up to 200 material psi. And we'll see if we can get a little cleaner um, isolate there. So we gave it a third go around on this isolation. Um, the fuck was nice. It was just um, still, you know, needing some more refining. So we did uh, 140 degrees up to 200 material psi. So um, we'll see if we uh, got a little cleaner material. Here. came out of the on the uh, on the screen Oop, and it's a little more gentle see it crumbled there so that's gonna be what we're what we're gonna live with on our isolate today guys pretty easy because you can throw it in the machine it does isolate it for you um, let's let me break it apart for you guys on the camera up close uh, let's let's let it cool first. We'll let it cool and then we'll break it apart. I'm doing up close so we'll break it apart so people can actually see it. You can see the inside of it, how clean and nice it is um, on both of these. It's really gentle when it's warm, but then as it, it cools, it, it hardens. Uh, you can see I'll break it apart again. Really phenomenal material. If you haven't ever tried it, it's definitely a must. Um, Isolate on the Nug Smasher IQ really made it easy. Let's see what the weight is on it. Remember, we started with five grams of rosin. So we're going to slide it on this torn piece of, uh, of parchment here. And drop it up on here and see what it is. So we end up with uh, 3.23 grams of isolate, 
out of uh, five grams of rosin. So not bad, uh, over 60%. I'm not sure you guys do the math. So 3.23 grams of isolate out of five grams of rosin. Nook Smasher IQ, guys, amazing machine. Couldn't be the people that got that are not gonna be happier. It, it is really, really nice. Makes everything very simple. You know, our kind of our slogan, Rosin Made Simple, it really um, it, it really defines it. So anyway, like, subscribe, uh, uh, ring the bell so you're notified of our of our newest videos coming out and enjoy. Thanks for watching.